Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Reaper Products. Our screencast today will focus in on how to work with parallel pipes and parallel conduit commands within Revit 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I'm in a default 3D view in a systems family default template file. Uh, project file and in the systems tab of the ribbon we have under plumbing and piping we have parallel pipes command and under electrical we have parallel conduits command these two commands are very similar in how they are designed if I start with the parallel pipes command it goes into a contextual tab called modify place parallel pipes and you'll get the parallel pipes panel in here, you can specify how many horizontal objects you want and how many vertical objects that you want and the spacing in between. So for example, if I say five horizontal and say three in the vertical and specify the offset distance as being five feet horizontally and say one foot vertically, as I'm drawing them, it'll draw. Now, the trick with this tool though is that it's expecting you to touch a pipe if you have no pipe to touch by default, you can't use this command. So we're going to head back out of the command and start with the pipe command. And go ahead and just draw some basic pipe, say for example here. Now, when you're finished, if you need to, you can switch to a fine level of detail and you can see the pipe that you have. Let's go ahead and shade it up and let's make it a little bigger so it's easier to work with and easier to see what's happening. Now if I head back over to the parallel pipes command and my settings should still hold, I can go in here and I can left click on a segment of that uh, pipe run, if you will, and only that segment will be uh, repeated in a parallel fashion, if you will. However, if you hit select the uh, tab key on your keyboard once, it will highlight as many as that it can find that are joined together. You'll notice you'll have sketch lines to let you know what the end result is going to be. So if I left click now, is going to build those set of parallel pipes. This is good for if you have to do parallel conduits and things like that. Um, so that's the under the systems tab, plumbing and piping panel, parallel pipes command. In the same vein, you have parallel conduits. So again, you need to have conduits drawn by default. Now, with the parallel pipe command and the parallel conduit command, it's looking at that original conduit or that original pipe and looking at the size of it. So it's going to repeat that particular size. So the, you want to make sure that what you're working with initially is the correct size that you want and the offset and things like that. So I'll go in and I'll draw some, um, I'll draw some conduit here real fast just so you get an idea of what you're working with. Um, and you'll also notice as well that Sometimes you'll draw and you'll get a circle with a diagonal across it. And that's just to let you know that you're trying to draw it at too great of an angle because your settings uh, within the software are not correct. So you just have to make sure you're drawing it at, at an angle that it can read and work with in regards to the fittings and the accessories. So here I have some conduit and then now I can go ahead and use a parallel conduit command. And again, it works the same way as the parallel pipes command in regards to how many horizontals that you want and how many verticals you want and what is the spacing in between. But in this particular parallel conduits contextual panel, you have an additional feature. You have same bend radius and you have concentric bend radius. So the same bend radius obviously is the radius for each one has, is the same, whereas concentric is that the radius will adjust as it's growing out. So for example, again, I'll go in here and I'll use the tab key and I'll left click once, uh, I'll, t I'll put my mouse over the object, tab once, everything will be highlighted and I'll left click once. And it will build the parallel conduits the way that I want. If it can't and it gives you an error, it's because it might be too tight, if you will, for the how the um, fittings are working. So we're gonna cancel out of that and we're gonna make some minor adjustments. So let's try concentric bend radius and see if that will allow us. And if it does, then it'll build it. If it can't, again, it's because there's not enough room for the fittings. So you have to redesign your um, 
original base conduit run for the parallel conduits command to work properly. So again, I'll just tab in and I'll have it built with concentric bend radius. And now you can see how it looks. So now I'm going to undo this. And going over here, I'm going to say parallel conduits again, but this time I'm going to say same bend radius. And use the tab key and left click. And again, now you'll notice that the bend radius is different um, as the previous choice. So if I go to a flat view, you'll get an idea that the radius is identical all the way across. And that's it. That is the parallel pipes and the parallel conduits command within Revit. Thank you very much for watching.